<laughs> so, <laughs> this is Josh Styles YouTube, and you know, another video I'm uploading for my series, you know. When they was the best rappers alive, you know, the moments called. And this definitely was a good moments called for both artists. As you see, you got Jay Z and Kanye West. Eight years ago today, around this time, Otis dropped. Now, this was dope, man, because, like, now. <clears throat> This was fire, because you never seen, like, well, you have, but, you know, these two dudes is on top of the world at this point. You know, you got, this is after Blueprint 3. This is after My Dog Twisted Fantasy. So, like, as soon as Kanye was on that song with Rihanna, Run This Town, and that verse, that's when the real talks was like, yo. You know, dudes wasn't really talking about Jay getting bodied on tracks here and there, but... On Run This Town, that's when dude was like, yo, Kanye got Jay. <laughs> you know, that's when it, that's when Kanye was at, was 99 overall. <laughs> Around this time, Kanye was 99. You know, it was like this dude was, he was in tune into the music. I mean, this, this is Kanye really, probably, I would, I hate to say it, probably at his peak. You know, this is right, at, right in the middle of his, right at the, like, his peak level. As far as him, like... I mean, after this, you know, Kanye just kind of just wanted to challenge himself and start making, you know, real different albums. Like, Kanye had to make albums so out of this world, so different for him to challenge himself. But back on this, so this is right after, like, my talk to the fantasy, like, you know, Kanye's on top of the world. And, you know, everybody, you know, see, the special thing about this was it was rare to see a compilation album. See, now you see a whole bunch of compilation albums left and right. Like, it's not even valuable no more. You know, you see so many nowadays. But 10 years ago, like, Swagger Like Us, that was rare. To see T.I., Lil Wayne on the song together with Kanye and Jay-Z, that was, shit was like, whoa. When, when we start doing this? You know, like, when we start doing this? So... You know, like, around 2008, around, like, the Lil Wayne that was when everybody started making songs together. But when Wayne and, you seen Wayne on Lil Chris album, or Wayne and Rick Ross or T.I., that shit was, like, real special back then. Like, dudes wasn't collaborating like that. You know, now, that shit is just, like, nothing. But back then, that shit was rare. You see artists like that collaborating. So, around this time, to see two artists, Jay-Z... You no, know, at the end of his prom, or, but you know, Jay Z really don't have him. You know, Jay Z been at his prom for like twenty years now, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Outside like his popularity fame, you know, popularity wise, you know, he ain't at his peak. You know, Kanye is. You know, so you know, Jay kind of like, cool. I take the back seat on this one with the production and everything. Like Kanye, you know, take the wheel of the car on this one, except for in the video. You know, I think Jay Z driving, but you no, know, even like these dudes, man. Like this video is dope. Not that expensive, like two of the most richest rappers <laughs> in the world. You know, always the richest ones doing the most simplest videos. I mean, like, you just see a flag in the background. They do a couple, like, <laughs> fast and furious turns with the cars with three chicks in the car. Like, just real simple shit. The most expensive thing in the video was the, them t breaking the car down. I think it got donated to Africa or something. Probably was Nas out there. Like, yo, yo, Jay Nas. You know, you should send that call to Africa. Word. <laughs> but this this shit was fire, man. And then to have a freestyle type of record, a freestyle type of record, you know, commercial, this was it, you know. Only thing I know that did that was like probably Lil Wayne. But to really have a dope freestyle type record and make it like a single, like, you know, it was the perfect single because it was like, Oh, these dudes warming up. What's next? You know, it was like the perfect way to ease us in because Mad Songs was getting leaked around this time. I think Ham got leaked. It was like, you know, so it was just like, it was a hard way to judge, like, damn, where this album was going. Because sometimes it's hard to judge a single without the rest of the 15 songs, without the rest of the album. It's hard to judge, like, a song. Sometimes you judge it a little bit too much. So, you know, like Ham, usually like, uh, I don't know. Or you hear it with the album, you're like, okay, that wasn't hot, you know? Then Kanye even said in his own uh, interview, like, yo, we need to drop Otis so niggas in Paris could work. You know, it's the way, it's the way how you do things. Even 
even as you are as good as Jay or Kanye, it's kind of harder for artists at that level to to put out an album because there's so much pressure. People who put so much pressure on the little things lose sight of direction. But yeah, man, yo, this album, I think you know, it, I think this album grew better during time, you know, because you just have so much pressure on it, like you like. Cause you expect so much from them, you know. You you seen the best of Jay, Blueprints, Black Album. You seen the best of Kanye, Graduation, Dark Fantasy. You know, College Dropouts, Late Registration. You know all these things, and you see these two do album together. You like, oh, what's going on? But yeah, Otis, Otis was fire, man. Otis was cool. You know, it's easy to easy to remember the vibes. You know, it's just the back and forth, like Styles P and Jada. You know that shit was dope. You know, these dudes did it. You know, this album was this tour. I don't know, my cousin told me about the tour. Like, she was just amazing. But I'll get in, I'll make another video, get more into the album. When, I always tell around that album anniversary come out or something. I'll get back into that. But yeah, Otis was dope, man. You can play Otis to this day. It's, just, it's a smooth song. This is your boy Josh Styles, and I'm out. Shit. Holla at me.